Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here a few days after our last episode. Got a zombie to take care of first thing. And we're going to be continuing off uh, where we last left off. In the previous episode we were spending some time uh, building a cabin out in the woods. A fishing shack for Gerald. And I want to head back over there and just show you what all I have done in between episodes. Because there have been some improvements, some additions. So let's hop over here, down to the river. The river actually looks a little bit uh, strange with the current today. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so this is our cabin in the woods uh, down by the river. And as you can see, a little bit different from where we left off last time. I have rearranged our traps over here. I've got a campfire built over here now. I've got some graves dug over there for the few zombie bodies that were around the area. We have our garden, which is now uh, planted. I have a sink that I've brought over. I have a compost bin. We've got uh, carrots planted back here. We've got broccoli and cabbage up here. Got a shelf for all our gardening implements and seeds. I've got a bar element out here for some foraging items and clothing off of those zombies that I buried. Got a door. And inside, I have another sink. I have a fridge. And I think that's all the new stuff I brought over. Alright, so with the sinks... Uh, we needed to get these plumbed in, and I was able to get them both plumbed in in kind of a sneaky way. So I'll explain what I did here. So we know that uh, in order to plumb in uh, a sink, which we learned from the crow's nest, uh, you need a room with four walls. Uh, don't have to be completed walls, can just be frames. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we do not have four walls here. We only have two walls, technically, one there one here and then the rest are fences uh, with an open side here and then inside our actual cabin we have an open back so no actual four walls but we are able to use the sink same with the one inside so what I ended up doing was I uh, dismantled these fences here these three panels I put up wall frames there I put up wall frames across here so that gave us the four technical walls uh, to uh, complete the room that enabled me to plumb this in and then what I was going to do I uh, was just do something similar here just you know do wall frames across here uh, and then plumb this one in but it turns out that I didn't even need to do that uh, because these sinks are both on the same wall panel when I plumbed the outside one in it also plumbed the inside one in so uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I did not expect that to happen, but uh, something to keep in mind for any of your future builds. You don't necessarily have to have uh, four walls. Uh, you can, uh, if you have a sink on one side of the wall, you can plumb that one in. And as long as there's another sink on the other side, it'll, it should plumb that one in as well. Maybe they'll change that down the road, but uh, for now, that seems to work. Okay, uh, and yes, we have a fridge here now. Uh, so we will be bringing a generator over here. And getting that hooked up, uh, and then we'll uh, be able to keep all, all the fish that we catch uh, nice and fresh in the fridge. So we do have the generator uh, not being used right now underneath the crow's nest, so we'll bring that one over. Uh, probably hook that up on the roof, and then we'll have power here as well as water. Uh, the traps, uh, we won't be able to catch anything while we're actually around here, but um, whenever we're sleeping over at the crow's nest or out uh, at the mall, clearing out zombies, or elsewhere on the map, uh, we should have the chance to catch stuff here. So the plan is for this area to be our food generation area uh, while we're staying over at the mall here. Uh, we'll be able to uh, grow some fresh produce, we'll use the carrots as bait for our traps, and then we can forage out here as well uh, to get uh, our fishing uh, lures and uh, worms and stuff for our bird trap. 
So since we're out here, let's grab our fishing rod and we will grab our fishing net, which I made in between episodes. We'll do a little bit of fishing. Let's grab all our lures. We'll place our fishing net while we are going to be fishing. And we'll go ahead and see what we can catch here. So I have done some fishing in between episodes. And we can look at our fishing skill here. So over halfway to level four. And if we go over to our info panel, I uh, have been able to start getting some weight again. So we're up to 74 kilograms, working our way towards 75. We'll get rid of this underweight trait here pretty soon. And I've found that the uh, best fish to gain weight, uh, the ones with the highest fat content, uh, appear to be the bass fish. Um, hopefully we can catch one and we can show you what they've got. So far we've just caught a little bait fish. And there goes our fishing rods. We'll try and repair that. So I don't think we have very much fishing line here. I don't think we'll be able to rep repair it again. We might need to get some twine. So we'll just continue fishing. We'll use the bait fish. And then after this next round, maybe we'll check the trap, see if we got any more bait fish there. Fast forward here, it's 3 p.m. So we can fish for a while before we have to head back. Got a small pike out of that bait fish. So the pike will have a very high caloric value, not so high fat though, only nine, almost 10 grams of fat there. The catfish, also around nine, with about a third of the amount of calories as the pike. And there we go, one small bass. So, let's see, the small bass, 35 fat. We got a catfish as well, or sorry, that's the same one. Another bait fish, yeah. So, there you can see the, the bass, even a small one, very high fat value. So that's how I've been getting weight here, is just by eating some, some bass fish. Got some socks. Keep all the socks back in here. Got another catfish. Let's try and catch one more. Okay, a small perch. All right, pretty low fat, but uh, that's also very high in calories. So perch and pike, very similar. The, uh, although the perch is even smaller than the pike. Also, oh, perch maybe is the uh, the best fish for highest calories by size. That's interesting. All right, let's check this. And how many more bait fish do we have? Two more. Okay, let's uh, continue fishing and see if we can catch two more pike then. And that'll be plenty of fish. We got some shoes. Uh, let's stop for a second. Let's go back to our little bait fish. And more shoes, okay. So, a little bit of a waste for those two bait fish. Alright, we'll remove that trap. So if we leave it in there for too long, it will break on us. Put the rest of our bait back in there. Uh, but that's a pretty good haul. We got one bass, two catfish, a perch, and a pike. All right, we're gonna drop off the socks and the shoes that we picked up. Close that window. Got one more cockroach here. Let's head right over to the campfire. And we will grab some twigs. We will put in all of our fish. We'll probably eat the bass 
tonight. And then the rest of the stuff we can eat over the coming uh, day or two. All right, so the campfire does have two hours worth of fuel left in it still. Let's go ahead and light that. And while we are cooking, we can also forage for maybe more fish bait, some animals, and mushrooms. And let's get our secondary bag out here. And we'll forge directly into there. So, take off berries and materials and medicinal plants. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get one cycle in here before the fish are cooked. So the bass, uh, it doesn't do much for hunger. Uh, so we might actually end up eating maybe the pike or we'll fillet the pike and eat one of those. Okay, so we're done there. Let's put that out. Let's go ahead and eat the bass. So it's only 10 hunger, but we got that 37 fat. So we'll eat that whole thing. Continue to gain weight. Yeah, looks like our forged items, which we didn't actually find anything. Okay. And let's eat the perch. No, let's take the uh, pike. Let's fillet that. And uh, actually, we could probably make a salad back at the crow's nest. So we're just going to fill up our water bottles. Before we leave. And we'll have a quick smoke on our walk back. Okay, I will cut back uh, once we've climbed back up to the crow's nest. So back up top, let's grab a bowl. Not sure if we have any fresh mushrooms left. Great salad, oh we do. Okay, so let's use our pike filet. And the mushrooms. More fish. Yeah, looks like that was the last fresh mushroom. Alright, so let's do some rotten mushrooms. And some more filet. So Primarily a fish salad. And that should uh, be fairly good, 1700 calories. And eat that. And we got another fish filet. We can have later. So let's put that in there. Alright, and where did I, where did I put the other uh, fish? Did I drop those off? Confused. Did I put those in the fridge back there? I just don't remember. Hmm. Or did I leave them in the, uh, I may have left them in the campfire actually. Okay. No worries. We'll pick them up in the morning. Uh, let's see here. We're tired. Okay. You know what? We can take this uh, generator over. So we've got a couple hours to kill here. I'm going to put some fuel in before we take it. Less stuff for us to carry over there. Alright. So that should be filled up now. 100%. Alright, let's take that. We'll run this over. Get it hooked up on the roof. We'll bring back... Actually, if, if we hook it up, we could just keep all that fish in the fridge there then. Yeah, so let's climb up the rope. We'll put this down just right there. 
connect that. We'll see if this uh, is good enough. Not sure if we need to uh, have it on a wall. Oh, we should be able to hear the fridge if it's working. And yeah, I can hear that. Okay. So that works. We now have power here. And I did leave the stuff in the campfire. So we'll take that. Um wondering should I just take this stuff with me to eat tomorrow? So they don't weigh much. Maybe I'll just take the stuff with me. So, when we do more fishing, we'll just put stuff, uh, any excess food into the fridge. Oh, I could also take the uh, jars of uh, veg down. That might be good to put in the freezer. And we can use that stuff as bait for the traps until our farm starts producing. That can be done later, though. So with those plants being freshly, or crops being freshly planted, uh, we'll have between two to four weeks before we see a harvest. Right, I'm going to put those directly in our backpack, which we will need to empty out a bit. I am planning on us going back down towards the mall tomorrow. So let's equip a katana. Let's get a machete in there. Um, what can we drop off? Got an extra hand axe we don't need. Spear with a hunting knife, we can drop that off. I got a couple more skill books for us to read when we need them. Let's drop those. Keep our bath towels. Try to drop one of these machetes. Let's drop one. Let's drop that one. Oh, and I did have a a few comments uh, in the last episode of the episode before that there was a katana and possibly a machete in the uh, crowds as we were leaving the, the uh, movie theater last time. So we'll try and keep an eye out for that. Let me go down in the morning. Let's get to sleep here. So next morning, back down at the movie theater. Let's go ahead and take a pill. Try and sneak our way towards the building. It's pretty warm out, 10 o'clock and only already 24 degrees. So I think plan for today is let's get on top of the roof and see what we can, uh, how far we can see out into the parking lot. Maybe we can spot some cars. Uh, that might be uh, worth salvaging parts from or even replacing our current car with. As well as seeing exactly how bad things are out there beyond the theater. Let's head to our door, where the back stairs are, that will take us right up to the roof. Oh yes, let's uh, keep an eye out for katanas. Let's take a look at these groups, I don't see anything there, because you had mentioned it was right when we were running through this area. There was a zombie with a katana, I think. So, I don't see anything in that group. I mean, like, the groups could have definitely moved around quite a bit since we were down here. And are they all 
all coming down? No, they're just shuffling. Okay, so I don't see any anything there. Let's keep moving. We have our two uh, less than 50% katanas for now. Which will hopefully be enough for what we need to get done. Uh, we're hungry. Let's go ahead and eat the catfish. A little bit of unhappiness. Not enough to really affect us too much though. Quick peek down here. Last thing we want are for a bunch of zombies to come up the stairs behind us when we go up to the roof. And I believe there's also something down here on a corpse that we missed. I believe that was another comment a while ago. Let's get to the roof first. Let's make sure no one else has crept up on us. We're good. We are quite warm. Let's take a moment to dry ourselves off. As much as possible. And we'll let those dry in our backpack again. Take a quick look down this hallway. All right, that's safe. Up to the roof we go. All right, so let's start off on this side. We'll walk the perimeter to the front. I'm hoping there's some cars out here. Not sure if they can see us. We should probably crouch out. There is one car. Looks like it's not in too bad of condition. It's the uh, same car that we have, just different color. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Cracked windshield. Some scuffs on the back. That might have some good parts. Might be worth us taking. Checking zombies, I don't see. I think I see a spear there, yeah. I don't see any katanas though. Let's move down. So we got one car. This is about as far as we can see, though. Oh, there's a katana out there. Right there. Okay. Alright, so we got one. Let's head over to the front. Just the one car so far. I don't see any others. Okay, let's move over. What's over here? A screwdriver. No, nothing in that group. So just the one katana and I don't see any other cars, which is a bit surprising. Cigarette. Take our bear blockers as well. This is a very big building. I think he's freaking out more so that he's up on top of the roof looking down upon hordes of zombies. No katanas there. None there. And uh, that's as far as I can see, no cars. 
I'm sure there's a few katanas and machetes in the parking lot. Beyond what we can see. And no cars that way. Okay. So we have a car and a katana on the north side. And it is very warm. We'll have to be careful we don't uh, overheat too much. We can dry ourselves off again. I wonder with it being so warm out if these dry quicker. I if that's a thing. It seemed to have dried very quickly. Alright, so our katana, pretty low. I've got the room in our main inventory. Let's get the second one out, just in case. In case it breaks, then we can switch out quickly. Alright, so let's head over around the corner. Try to either get that uh, car hot wired or grab that katana. And I'm pretty sure that's not the katana you guys were talking about because that's in a different area than we had been. So it's gotta be at least one more out there too, around here. Alright, uh, we are hungry again. Let's have maybe the other catfish. Again, not much hunger reduction out of these. Can we dry off again? No, that's still wet. Okay, so let's try to avoid that group. Let's see if we can't hug the wall here. Sounds like there's quite a few behind that door. So we'll try and leave that. They're not knocking on it right now. Oh, now they are. Alright, before we get too far ahead, and there we go, that's broken now. Oh yeah, that's quite a few, okay. That's a lot. Back around the corner. <laughs> Gerald's freaking out. Uh, is that group coming too? I don't think so. Uh, okay, pill. Get our nerves down. Oh, and that's what I was a little bit worried about, so. Actually, you know what? Let's just drop this. Save the, the weight. Clip on our back. We got another group. Okay, we're going to be busy here for a while. Before they merge into one big group. Which I think they just have. Yeah, let's fall back again. Let's circle them around this grouping of trees. And we'll pick off these ones. This one 
This katana is going down in condition quite quickly too. It's already down to a fraction of a star. Alright, you know what? I might just uh, leave them there. Head back, we should probably zone in on that uh, other katana. Try and get that before this thing breaks. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we start getting a bit tired here. Oh, so we got a fire axe on that zombie. We got enough room in our backpack for that. Uh, speaking of weapons stuck in zombies in between episodes. Uh, I think I have footage of this actually. I'll try and throw it in here. I found a zombie with a fire axe and a hunting knife spear lodged in them. That was a first. You've seen things like a screwdriver and a hand fork or a kitchen knife and something, but I've never seen two higher tier weapons like that. And there we go, we are drowsy. And soaking so That means it's time for a coffee ground break. And for us to dry off. So we got a couple more hours. Until we get sleepy again. Did I grab that axe? I don't think I did, did I? Where did they go down? No, oh, it's over here. This one right there. Where the hell is it? have to switch out to that that axe or to our machete I suppose Once this one breaks if I can't get to that other one first maybe I should get that machete out and ready Another pill. I think that's the last one. No, maybe one more after this. Okay. Where... Where... There's the car. Where's that other katana? I think it's just past the car. Depending on how much that group has moved. Stay away from that group. Yeah, that's the spear. I think it's this group. Wasn't it? No, I don't see her. That group or this group? Alright, can I spot it first? Is it? Oh. No, that's a, a nightstick, I think. Is it spear? And I think that's a nightstick up there. Alright, where the hell is it? Is it in this group? Nope. Up there? I don't remember what they were wearing. Nope. Or 
out of water too. It's down here. I see another fire axe. Up there. No, I don't see it, guys. We lost sight of it. Or is it? Is that it? No, that was a crack on the ground. Ah, damn it. Couldn't have gotten too far. See a bread knife. I don't see the katana. And they are moving around quite a bit, so I guess they could be anywhere. I would think they're still over in this general area. Unless I'm missing it. Well, let's see here. We're over at the car. Can we at the very least take a look under the hood? See what kind of condition this is in. Ah, I really thought it'd be easy to find her again. Him or her. 75%. Engine loud is 52, so it is louder than our car. But it's got decent condition. Parts and performance suspension. Pretty crappy tires. Might be worth taking some parts, even if it's just the engine parts. Can I quickly hotwire this? Yes. Okay, so we just need some fuel. Well, that's too bad we didn't get the uh, katana. I mean, they could have moved further back. They could have moved around the corner of the theater. I don't know. I think we gotta head back though. I'm out of water. And I don't think I have any more. Yeah, let's just head back. All right, so we got a potential car with some parts. We can get some gas in there. We can drive that back up to the crow's nest, uh, take out what we need. Uh, probably safer than taking stuff out here and hauling it back. Although, it would just draw zombies up towards us as well. So quick look here for katanas. Uh, unless I am missing something, I am not seeing it. Yeah, so who knows where the one you guys saw. Uh, I saw it as well when I went back and looked at the video. But who knows where they've wandered off to. We'll find another one. At some point, it's in inevitable. Okay, we are soaking. Let's try and dry ourselves off again here. And maybe, let's see. Can I just do this walk? Speed things up a bit. Get back. Before we start dying of thirst, we're parched. And we're soaking again. Uh, we're still being chased. We're also freaking out. 
All right, now we are dying of thirst. I think that's why our attacks have slowed down, if you've noticed. Our swing speed. Okay, let's dry off again here. And let's get back. Health is slowly starting to drop. We're not in any immediate danger because we're close enough to a water source. Almost 30 degrees. Might be worth even carrying a uh, third bottle with us. One more following us, two more following us. Okay. And I think I saw one over there. That shouldn't be a problem though. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, and there we go, we are now hyperthermic. S delirious from the heat stroke and exposure, severely endangered. Oh, got back just in time. I'm sure that's a combination of the heat and the uh, dying of thirst, Moodle. Take care of that. Yeah, there we go. Start, uh, yeah, sunstruck, start cooling down now. Now we got our fluids. It's soaking. Let's dry off. Make ourselves a bit more comfortable. And you know what? Let's... Do I have um, a container I can easily put our clothes into? I do. Let's let Gerald have a nice rest tonight. Let's strip down. Since it's so hot out there. It's gonna be quite warm. Sleeping in all that gear. I'm sure he's uh, pretty muddy. Yeah, he is. Let's take our apron off as well. Jeez, he could use a, a bath in the... Uh, a bathing time in the river. Let's have a smoke. And you know what? Since we're near the end of the episode, let's get back into some exercise. I don't think we'll do any uh, zombie fighting tomorrow. We'll just head down to the cabin and do some fishing. Okay, so go to our health panel, fitness, and let's do some presses for 30 minutes. Man, he looks like a wild man right now with his hair and his beard and all the mud. Okay, where is our strength skill at here? Less than 9,000 to go. We will get there eventually. Okay, so let's put that back on our back. We'll wear that on our front. And let's eat another fish here. Our perch that's got a lot of calories. Uh, we probably have we gained that extra kilogram yet? Are we at 75? We are. And yeah, we have gotten rid of our underweight trait. I thought that happened at 76, but 
We'll take it. Okay, let's get to sleep. And we'll pick up in the morning and do some fishing. So, bright and early, back at the fishing cabin. 4 a.m. I do have a light in here. I need a light bulb, though. I brought over our jarred vegetables. Let's go ahead and put those in the freezer. And uh, we'll put our dead bird that we caught a while ago in the fridge. No sign of zombies, even though the generator has been running. Let's grab our fishing net, our fishing rod, and a little bit of bait we have left. Put our net down. And let's do some fishing. There, we can let you sit down for this. Okay, let's see what we can catch here. Early in the morning. Fish as the sun comes up. And there we go, a, uh, a big sunfish we caught first off in a small crappie. A small sunfish. So, they all have low fat. Okay, good to know. Now we've ran out of bait. Let's go ahead and put our fish in the fridge. Keep those chilled. We'll do some foraging. For our fish bait animals and mushrooms. Get that equipped secondary again. Uh, whoops, let's try that again. Put in secondary. I don't think I've quite finished reading the uh, foraging book. I think we still have some pages to go. Yeah, we got a multiplier of 9.6, so must be just over halfway through that book. Be safe to fast forward here. We got frog, grasshoppers, mushrooms, another frog. Some worms, some more crickets. Okay, so we got enough uh, fish bait now. Another frog. Okay, I think that's good. Let's put, uh, let's see. We'll put our mushrooms in here for now. And our frogs even though those won't spoil on us. Let's check our bait trap. Uh, doesn't look like we got any bait there. Let's unpack those. And let's fish again. Have a seat. Good. Let's catch some more fish. Let's hope for a, uh, another bass. Let's see what we catch down here. If anything. So, uh, for those of you who I think I've asked this before, but have a bit more experience with the fishing mechanics. Are there better times of the day? And like does weather affect what kind of fish you can catch? If you know, I'd be interested to hear. Got ourselves a small trout. So that's high in fat. 33. Okay, that's a nice one. We're already getting a bit hungry. Maybe we can stop to uh, cook a couple of these up. Another crappie. We're also getting drowsy. Okay, another trout. There's some bait fish. Let's try and use that. Alright, let's stop at 9 o'clock. 
We'll cook up this fish. All right, and a big bass. Oh, nice. 176 fat. Holy crap. 3,000 calories. Jesus. That's our best one yet. Okay, no more bait fish. That thing is massive. Hunger's only 38. But that... Would definitely, maybe we'll save that for a pinch if we start losing weight again. Let's put that inside. We'll cook up uh, maybe these smaller fish. That'll be our emergency. Losing weight again, fish. All right. So let's throw all these on. Gonna put this bait fish. Actually, no, we'll we'll fish again after this cooking session. Okay, we should still have lots of fuel in here. An hour and forty-two minutes. So yeah, let's go ahead and light this. And we'll do some more foraging while we are here. Or actually we can't forage there because it's empty. What if I risk going out here? Or is this all one cell? I have to go all the way out there. And I do hear a zombie too. Alright, let's get our hand axe out. And have a quick smoke. Keep our eyes out. It's probably back in the woods there. Quick look at our crops. 85 water. 85. 86, so that's fine. And we got some more rain, just as I was looking at that. Okay. Let's put that out. And let's have one of these trout. So there's our fat intake for the day and we can have a small crop uh, you know what we're not hungry anymore so well, let's just take the rest of these and put them in the fridge and then we'll go look for that zombie pretty sure I heard one. Oh, where the hell did I I'm moving too fast. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think he's coming to our door. <laughs> he's trying to climb in. Alright, well, I don't want you making a mess of my new cabin. So, get out of here. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. Hey, 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 get off my bastard. Come over to your new home. Jesus, that blood went far. Okay. Let's go ahead and bury them right away. We got three more spots for some friends in there. Okay, let's finish putting the stuff in the fridge. We're definitely going to need a bigger fridge. Thing is gonna fill up fast. 
there was still a large fridge over at the hunting lodge, right? I think we dismantled one. I think there's still one there. So we could go back to grab that. We are very tired. Let's use up this one bait fish. Try and catch a pike. So with uh, a limited amount of fishing line left, I should bring down some twine. So I'm sure this thing will break. At some point. Quite the rain. And we caught some shoes. Not what I wanted. Alright, let's fill up our water. Let's make sure our roof is working over there. And our carrots aren't being overwatered. Should be fine. All right, it's still 86. Yeah, so that's working. Good, good. Um, you know what? Since we got rain going on, let's fill up these spray cans. That one's full. Our bucket's full. Let's fill all these. Won't hurt to have some extra water stored up. And it's still quite full. Okay. A little bit hungry. Let's go grab one of our fish. Maybe this uh, big sunfish. And let's throw a few more into our bag to take with us. Actually, we could probably fit all these. They're all small. And we'll take the mushrooms back with us. So we can make some salads. Uh, let's not forget to take our trap up. Okay, no more bait fish. Oh, wrong container. Alright, no more bait fish. Let's move that up to the shelf. Alright, I think that'll do it for today, guys. We are doing pretty good now. Look at that, 76 and gaining weight. Haven't even had to scavenge for anything. Just done our fishing. So, I feel like the, uh, Fishing Shack will do good by us. Um, excited to see the uh, crops come in. We'll have a nice little food generation system going on here. We'll grow crops, uh, bait our traps, catch rabbits, catch birds, catch fish. I don't think Gerald will have to worry about food from now on. And we'll be able to regulate our weight quite nicely, I think. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that like button, stay tuned for more Zomboid. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.